Hi everyone, welcome back. So I bought this processor, the new AMD Ryzen 7 5700X and it retails at RM1299 and this is the processor itself. With that done, let's dive into the details. For multi-core workloads, let's have a look at the VG Resolve 17 of which I did a 4K 60 frames per second 3 minute video encoding and this is the result of which you can see the 5700X leads the rest which is obvious because this is an 8 core 16 thread processor unlike the other two which are 6 cores 12 threads unfortunately I do not have any other 8 core 16 threads processor with me so this is the only comparison I have however don't be disappointed this information is actually useful for those who have a 3600 or a 5600X and thinking or not whether they should upgrade to the 5700X. Next up in the productivity workload is Blender Test. Yet again, the 5700X leads. Again, this goes without saying, after all, it has more cores and threads. When it comes to the CPU power draw, I'm referring to HW Info's CPU package power, and as you can see, both the 5000 series are lower than the 3000 series, even though the 3600 has lesser cores and threads. Up next is the peak temperature, of which I use the AMD Wraith Prism cooler and the peak power was recorded from the Blender test. Clearly the 5700X is the winner when you consider the temperature against the number of cores and threads. For gaming benchmarks, I'm running at 1440p because I think this is the realistic scenario where a person is using a higher end graphics card and a CPU of this caliber, of which again you see that the 5700X leads the pack overall while the 3000 series is struggling behind. Alright, with all the benchmarks done, what do I think of this processor? Well, I think it's a great processor at this price point. I wish it was launched when the rest of the 5000 series was launched. So if you are, let's say, on the 3600 and you want greater frame rates, I think you can just go with the 5600X. However, if you are into gaming and a bit of productivity, then, you know, productivity as in I'm referring to like video encoding and such, then going to the 5700X is a good step up. So overall, great processor from AMD. Yes, I really wish that it was launched at the time of the 5600X and the 5800X. That's all from me for this one. Thank you for watching. I hope you found the video useful and informative. If you like more of this kind of content, do check out the videos at the side and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.